Welcome to Spectrum Center, where the new look and new feel and feel good Charlotte Hornets have now won two games in a row. And during tonight's win against Indiana, new co-owners Gabe Plotkin and Rick Schnall sat together under this basket right behind me, and they were dialed in. Earlier in the day, it was announced that after six years, GM Mitch Kupchak will slide into a front office advisory role. And of course, the team just made a couple of big moves to alter the roster by the trade deadline last week. So this is really their team now. And for a couple of guys who made their fortunes in the financial sector, their return on investment is paying off big so far. We're, so we're more experienced. We're much deeper, right? Which is, to be honest, is a big thing. You know, the biggest thing is we're moving the ball. You know, the ball is moving. Everybody's passing the ball to each other. And, uh, it's contagious. Just the energy from the jump. As soon as we walked in, um, the first day of shoot around before the game, you know they were all here dapping us up, you know making us feel welcomed. And then on the court, um, like I said, the communication. Um, they're they're really good guys and they try to help us through everything. Yeah, it's been great energy, um, both games. Uh, kind of like I said, kind of got a jolt of new new players in the in the um, in the organization, and the fans are coming out and supporting. Um, we're playing a fun brand of basketball. Like I said, and, um, even, even no matter circumstances, circumstances, everybody in that locker room is enjoying themselves, um, going out competing, working hard, and, and playing the right way. So, I mean, that's all you can ask of a team. And um, no matter what in this league, if you play the right way, you got, we got enough talent to compete every night. We might not win every night, but we got enough talent to compete and put on a good show for the fans. And um, I think that's our jobs. Well, now the Hornets look to do something they haven't done all year, but based on the last couple of games, they've got a pretty good shot. That is win three games in a row. They'll try and do it Wednesday night against the Atlanta Hawks ahead of the All-Star break. At Spectrum Center, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte.